Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to an episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 2019. We are continuing our start from scratch run. This is our, I guess, second start from scratch run on the channel. Um, but yeah, we're over here at the ranch, about to drop off this stuff. If I can get this stuff, stuff, up, stuff up the hill, I should say. I can stop hiccuping. Um, let's see, is it still a good price? Yes, it is. Eight twenty-four for the price. Pretty good. I mean, it wasn't. It was still a pretty good price at the restaurant too. It would have saved me all this trouble coming over here, but. $100 more per whatever it is, ton, kilogram, not kilogram, kilo, what would it be, ton or, I don't know what it would, I doubt it's ton, because there's no way this is like 21,000 tons, obviously, 21,000 pounds maybe, no, that'd be 10 tons, no, that's not too much, 21,000 liters, I actually don't know what the measurement is here, hopefully this is worth quite a bit of money to us, let's see, does it say here, it's probably liters or something like that, right? Wouldn't it be, you would think? There's 17,000 bucks. Almost enough to buy us an actual semi-truck. Oh, we need to get another contract rolling, I think. I think that would be a really good idea. Uh, we got weeding, sowing, uh, more weeding, fertilizing. We do have the fertilizer guy that we could go send over there. It's field number two. There's a Big old giant fertilizing on field number eight. Um, I just don't know if it's worth it without with us having to pay for the fertilizer the whole way, which just doesn't feel like it's a good idea. Um, sowing's probably okay. But you have to pay for the seeds still, too. I mean, the weeding wouldn't be too bad. But again, you have to pay for the herbicide. Honestly, none of these are really worth anything right now. I don't like the ones where I have to pay for stuff to, to do it. It just feels like it's just not worth it. So we'll just ignore it for now. Whoa, whoa. Ah, this truck and this trailer just do not go together at all. I do feel pretty confident that there's no way this truck would be having this much trouble with this trailer when it's empty. But what do I know? <laughs> I've never pulled a trailer like this before. I mean, I don't know that I'd be going 65 miles an hour with this trailer like this, but... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, goodness. If nothing else, it's entertaining. Try to keep it around 40. At least slightly controllable. Why can't the restaurant be doing like a, a blue light special right now and give us a whole bunch of money? This truck could pull it to the restaurant. It's just right there. You should have, I actually didn't record this. Maybe I should have, but you should have seen me trying to pull this thing up the hill earlier. I got it part way up the hill, then I stopped the recording, and then I was going a little bit further up, and I got like stuck on this little like tiny. It looked like a very tiny hump in the dirt, but it like my front end of my truck went up in the air and back into the trailer. You know, it was just a mess. <laughs> it was it took me forever to get off that stupid thing, but it was kind of funny to watch. Next time, I'll just have to turn on the recording to let people laugh with me. All right, let's get you up here. Uh, let's go get the green at least and go from there. Don't think I'm gonna pull this all the way over to the ranch again with this truck. Just too, too wiggly. That's it, pipe out. We might be too close. I think we're okay. Or just not pulled up enough. 
There we go. Um, we need to get you back eventually. I'll at least get you off the field for now. And uh, you are done. Good job. Just get you over here out of the way for now. Probably turn you in here soon-ish since we're done harvesting our field again for a second time. Although, again, we don't have to pay for the redo if we uh, hold on to you for a little bit longer. Alright, I'm just going to get you off to the side. Unhook you so that the trader can come, or the tractor can come along and pick this up. Uh, let's just get up a little bit more. I'll get you over here underneath the tree. Alright, tractor, what you doing? Uh, not you, you. Let's finish off this stuff. And then either buy or rent our trailer for this. I know I don't have access to the land. I'm just turning around and being lazy, not turning my thing off. Give me a break. Don't think this is going to be enough for one more bail, unfortunately, but that's all right. We'll have it for next time. Uh, might be. I don't think so, but it's going to be close. Oh, there we go. It was enough for a bail. It's a little tiny extra. All right, let's go ahead and unload you. Uh, what am I looking for? There we go. Unload. Cool. And then we'll fold you back up. Get you off over here to the side. Do need to get some water over here soon. All right, how much, what's the prices looking like right now? 824 still at the ranch? Yes, so this is still the best place to go. And I don't know if it's gonna get much higher than that. So I think we'll go ahead and pick this up and drop it off over there first. Although, honestly, I'm almost tempted just to put it in my silo and then eventually get a semi-truck just to take things in much bigger batches. But let's, let's get over there. And we got we to gotta turn this in to be able to get the silo anyway, basically. Got to make some money to make... We got to make money to spend money to make money, I guess is what it comes down to. Just about have enough money for the semi truck after this, but we still need the the bail collector, so that uh, that will probably be our first buy, unfortunately. And I think it is worth buying one because I mean we could lease it. It's not that expensive to lease, and we'll make a lot of money for it. But the more we stuff we buy, the sooner we start making profit eventually. Especially if it's stuff that's critical that we're going to be using, you know, pretty regularly every time we have a harvest. Let's assume we can even afford it. I actually don't know. I don't remember how much it cost. Oh, uh, while I'm doing this. Oh, no, no, I still have the bells of hay. I was going to say, while I'm doing this, I could um, 
start doing the other stuff on the field. I guess I could send my other um, tractor over there to start doing some stuff in the field while I'm bringing this over here. I don't know if it really matters one way or the other. It's about, I mean, it's gonna, either one of them is going to take time to do. What I'll probably do is drop this off. No, actually, I think it is better. Let's stop right here just for a minute. Let's go grab you. Let's get you taken back over to home. Uh, also, then we'll go by the store, pick us up. The bale collector, once we get enough bale collected off one of the fields, we can start the seeding. Of course, we need the tractor to do the seeding, but I think it'll all work out. Almost need a third tractor at this point, but I think we're going to be fine. So yeah, we'll drop this off, get the bale collector, clear off one of the fields, start seeding with this tractor. Because if, if during the time that this guy starts seeding and sowing and stuff, we can bring the other tractor back from dropping that stuff off and still have time to be able to clear off the other field, I think. I think all that will work out. Although, we may, again, we might not have enough money. Let's see. How much money is it? Just so I can kind of make a more educated decision. Uh, we want bailing technology. I kind of want one of the bigger ones. That's square 16, 70,000 bucks. So we definitely can afford at least one of them. Square 16, 89,000 bucks. Square 14, 57,000 bucks. Which we could probably get by with the 57,000 buck one, but let's just get this 69. Or this seventy thousand buck dollar one. Uh, it's interesting. The little tiny one that only does three at a time. It's kind of cool. Um, let's grab. Where was it? This one, right? Sixteen bells, seventy thousand dollars. Not too bad. I think that'll work. I think it'll do what we want. It's, I think it's different than one we had originally, but I think this is okay. And I think it's still okay to buy. I mean, yes, leasing we could. It will take a long time for the lease cost to overpower the, price, the buying price, but I think it's still okay to buy. All right, so that's that. We got that one. There's a 24 bell one, but that's the round bills. I mean, we could have always swapped to the round bills, but no, I think I'm okay with what we got. All right, let's drop you off, pick that up. There goes all of our semi truck money, but that's all right. Let's so let me start making money with this. Um, but there's really not much else for us to buy to be able to take care of all this stuff. So I think we're in a pretty good spot overall. Hello, other tractor. still like to get around to getting animals someday but I think we won't be getting the animals until we we want at least want to get the semi truck probably a semi trailer if we can't use our current trailer which we're gonna need a semi trailer anyway because obviously the current trailer is not that big but semi truck then semi trailer um, and then really it's just the harvester and that's pretty much all we need um, maybe a silo just to have some options there but yeah, I think the harvester is really all we... we once we can buy the harvester, um, and obviously the trailer and the headers and stuff, then I think we are ready to just... After that, it's just pure profit because there's really not much else for us to buy for the current set of crops. Now, there's other crops we want to do eventually, but I don't think we'll do those until we can pay off our loans and things. So we're not super far off. The harvester is the most expensive piece, to be fair. I have been saving the most expensive for last. I could get a cheaper harvester than what I've been using. But, um, I feel like, I, I like the big one. Why not? We can use it for contracts and things. I think it still gives us some really good benefits otherwise. Oh, 
really need to clear out this path here, actually. I wonder how much that would cost us. Just to clear us a path up to this hill here. I'm actually kind of curious. Um, it's in here, right? Uh, it's under this. Start landscaping. So we would want to um, really just kind of right here. We would want to maybe smooth. Smooth our way up. Still looks like it's probably still steep, isn't it? Maybe flatten or lower. Or uh, flatten's probably right where one, right? Right button. Um, well, that's not doing what I wanted to do. That is, I want to smooth back, go back to smoothing again. Because I think I just made it worse. Um. Yeah, I definitely made it worse. So I guess I want to raise you a little bit. I'm just trying to get a nice gradual like ramp here, but it's not doing what I want, and I spend a lot of money doing this. Yeah, I think it's costing me too much money to do all this. And I made it worse. Definitely made it worse. I see, every, even like when I come up here to raise, it like makes a weird, it's kind of weird. It's not what I'm expecting to see. Oh well, all right, it's worse than it was. Uh, I don't think there's much I can do about it though. It just doesn't want to smooth the way I was expecting it to. And the right, and the, I mean, I could change the mode, but that's just painting, sculpting and painting. Um, I can make it square. I don't think that's going to change anything, though. I'll raise this up a little bit. Kind of lower that a little bit. Maybe raise that up a little bit, kind of lower this a little bit. I still think it's so much worse, right? Part of it's also that I can't like quite do what's up there by the road. Uh, let's go to painting. And then let's, um, just kind of want to get like a dirt road if I can. Uh, let's change the shape. Can I change the size? So where's the size? Radius. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Just paint this out brown. It's kind of leading up to my farm. I mean, it's not far off of where I want it to be. Definitely don't need to be that big right now. Uh, I think the square was definitely working better. Um, like if I were to just try and smooth some of this a little bit more. We might be able to make it up that. It's a little bumpy. It's a lot bumpy from what I would like it to be at. But I think we can possibly make it up that. All right. We spent enough money on it. We spent like 7,000 bucks on it. It's possible we can go up and down that. All right. Drop you off. We need to go get to the store. Let's try our little path now. Our bumpy little... <laughs> yeah, that's way too bumpy. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, I love it. I'm obviously not very good at painting with a sculpting brush or whatever it is. Let's go get our little thing, Majigger.
I could probably work on it a bit and just very slowly work through some of the craziness and get it a little bit more of a smooth slope, but eh, I already spent enough money and time on it. Clear off that close field first, then get the seeding started, and then go from there. All right, uh, operating position, please. If this thing's any faster than the other one was, Don't, I doubt it. Uh, that was pretty fast. Never mind. Not bad. I don't know if it's any fa necessarily faster, but it's not bad. It's definitely a different uh, way it's doing it. Kind of interesting to see. Wasn't the other one stacking them like three high or something? Whereas this one's like turning them sideways. It's a little bit different. This thing doesn't actually drive the best either, to be honest. A little weird. It's pulling like a little bit off to the left and right sometimes. Ten. Something holds sixteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Are we gonna have we're gonna have sixteen off this field alone? Huh, nice. We're actually gonna have eighteen off this field. Probably what I'm going to do is pick these last two up here in the middle of the field. Scooch up here and probably push that one off the field up here with my tractor. Because I'm assuming I can't pick up any more, correct? Correct, but I can at least push it off. <laughs> it works. Uh, transporting position. And then we'll just move you up here out of the way. Probably up to this field for a second. Now, this is a Pretty heavy load of hay, or straw, I should say. All right, uh, we'll just drop you off here. Go get our cedar, sower cedar, fertilizer, all the things, and start working on this field. Uh, we don't need any plowing or anything, do we? Uh, it needs lime, though, so we'll just start the lime then. We haven't needed lime in a while. Do we even have any lime? I actually don't know if we do. A very, very tiny amount. Can we buy a lime thing, Majigger? Without having to go all the way over and get some lime. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for miscellaneous. Nope, no lime. Um, hmm. That's actually unfortunate. It's no lime like anywhere, right? Uh, what am I gonna do then? I guess I can just buy the pallets or the, the the big bags or whatever. I don't have any lime yet, do I? That's not lime. I don't think I have any anywhere. 
let's check. Um, well, should it say here? Yeah, I would, I would say here, which I don't. Let's see, fertilizer, solid fertilizer, no lime. All right, we'll have to go get us some lime. We'll just go all the way to the store. Thankfully, we don't have to do it very often. Uh, thought I made that corner. Obviously, I didn't. <laughs> Partly to blame is that I can't see very well underneath the shed. Maybe the shed was a bad idea. How are you stuck? Oh, you're stuck, like, on the corner of that thing. You're not have, You're not able to get out of there at all. We are completely stuck. All right, we're going to make this easier on ourselves. But also being a little bit silly. <laughs> That'll get it clear. When in doubt, push it with the tractor. Then you need to get the tractor lined up properly. It's always so weird when you're like trying to do stuff like this, like back up like this. It's like I know exactly, exactly what I want to do, and I even I, I actually think I even know what button I want to push, but then for some reason my brain just like no, no, you need to push this other button over here. You're you're, you're backwards, buddy. You're you're thinking wrong, and I'm like no, it's supposed to be backwards, but no, and unfortunately. Despite me knowing what button to push and what I want to do, or maybe it's not my brain, but my my fingers are like, nope, I got this. <laughs> Watch this, boss. I got this. Uh, no, you just completely screwed everything up. That is not what I wanted you to do. And that is exactly how that story plays out in my head. All right. We might just fill this thing up completely with lime, because, you know, why not? Um... Let's see. In fact, actually, I think only... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. There's that thing again where I'm hitting the wrong button again. Um, thankfully, lime is not very expensive. I don't remember how much this fills up, this thing. I don't think it's that much. We could always go and just fill up lime from the the thing, but uh, the, there's a place that you can go get lime from. All right, so that's about a quarter. So probably three more bags, which we will do real quick because it's relatively cheap and we might as well have it on hand. There we go. Nothing else is going to go in this spreader anyway. We'll just turn this into our lime only spreader. Just barely almost fit a fifth bag, but I don't want to leave a bag like just sitting here, so I'll just fill up as much as we can. Alright, that'll work for now. What I could do, I, what I could do is go get like a big trailer, um, and just fill it with lime, and just have it sitting there. But I don't know if that's worth it or not. There's probably a mod I can get to give me some lime as well. Thankfully, the lime does not come up very often, so I'm not too worried about it. I run to that tree. Just for a split second, I can't see where I'm going. Not that I wouldn't run to that tree, even if I could see where I'm going. Forget how wide this thing is. Start here. Uh, I did miss a little bit, but we might come back and do that in a minute. I think the lime goes pretty far, so we'll be all right. All right, uh, you're doing that. I need to finish you doing your thing. Oh, I bet I just realized something. I am st I didn't realize fertilizer would count. Turn that off. Yeah, I spent quite a bit of money there. I was not thinking of that being fertilizer. So now I bet it's dropping a lot faster now. Uh, 
Eh, it's dropping fast-ish. It'll be alright. Alright, so you now. Now we can do you. I was like, why are we losing so much money? Yeah, because that thing was turned on. Which we definitely do not want to have turned on. I mean, it is an option, don't get me wrong. But, oh, come on. Really? Really? There you go. It is an option, but, uh... I think it's still just a little bit cheaper just to go buy it from the store and, you know, it's going to be all right. I can always go, like, use this trailer once I'm buying a different trailer. Use this trailer just to fill it up with a whole bunch of lime. I know I need to check because I wonder if... It is still the best price of the ranch. It is still the best price of the ranch. No trains, no trains, no trains, no trains. No trains. This is so much slower than that truck, but the truck is just so, so just bad. It's just funny, funny, uh, would have to pick one or the other. I can go fast and crazy, or I can go slow and steady. I, mean, I guess slow and steady wins the race, but not by much, right? Come on, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. Good job. All right, get this money, and we'll go back and take the straw bales over. About 11,000 bucks, but hey, it's something. Money's money. Come on, little tractor. You can do this. You got this. I like to cheer my tractors on. They always seem like they're struggling. Helper G's completed the task. Uh, let's just do this real quick, just because why not? Um, I'm actually going to unhook you for just a second, because I'm not ready to do that at the field yet. And I'll start the seeding process over here. Oh, no, I need to do that last little pass. And it's going to waste a lot of lime, but it's going to bug me if I don't. It really is. I guess I turned that on way too soon, but that's all right. I wasn't thinking about the fact that it was going to slow down that much. I was like, I'll just use my momentum to get me over there quicker. Nope, it slowed down instantly. Might not have enough line for that other field now because of this little pass, but I still want to do it because it just bothers me. All right, uh, we'll put the line right here. And we will go grab our... Cedar and start that process going real quick. I might do a different one um, just because I think I can, right? Like, I don't have to replow or anything. Um, just because that uh, oat sells for so much. I, want, I just kind of want to see, it, you know, how it goes. So, yeah, let's try oats. Let's do well, let's refill and then let's uh, do some oats. Something different. That still does straw, right? I guess I should double check. Uh, straw. Straw. Yep, oats. I think we get less oats, so I think it just the, the price still ends up being basically about the same. But, you know, why not? 
Uh, back up a little bit so I can get a little bit better line here. All right, that's going. Uh, we can come back to you. We probably have chopped up traffic. Actually, somehow we haven't. I'm not sure how that's possible, <laughs> but we'll go with it. Oh, wow, look at the time. All right, we're going to go to put a cut in here. When we come back, by then I should have this guy back over at the farm, and we'll take the straw bales over to the barn and get working on that other field and all that other fun stuff. So I do appreciate you watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.